Hi friends, welcome to Let's Learn Civil Engineering Classroom. This video include questions of structural engineering which are repeatedly asked for the competitive exams in civil engineering. For more videos, press the subscriber button below and bell button for further notification. First question, a section subjected to axial pushes acting normally across the section the stress setup is known as a tensile stress b shear stress c compressive stress d direct stress the answer is a section subjects to axial pushes acting normally across the section the stress setup is known as compressive stress when a stair slab spanning horizontally the bending moment is equal to a wl square by 2 b wl square by 4 c wl square by 12 d wl square by 8 the answer is when a stair slab spanning horizontally the bending moment is equal to wl square by 8 in a singly reinforced beam section depth of actual neutral axis is more than critical neutral axis the section is known as a balanced section b under reinforced section c over reinforced section d critical section the answer is in a singly reinforced beam section depth of actual neutral axis is more than critical neutral axis the section is known as over reinforced section the ratio of ultimate stress to the safe stress is called as a stress b factor of safety c strain d working stress the answer is the ratio of ultimate stress to the safe stress is known as factor of safety the maximum resisting moment that can be developed at the cross section of a beam without exceeding the permissible bending stresses is known as a bending stress b moment of resistance c longitudinal stress d flexural rigidity the answer is the maximum resisting moment that can be developed at the cross section of a beam without exceeding the permissible bending stresses is known as moment of resistance the stress corresponding to limiting value of load is a shear stress b shear strain c elastic limit d strain the answer is the stress corresponding to limiting value of load is the elastic limit. The section in which the amount of reinforcement provided is less than what is required is called as A. Over reinforced section B. Under reinforced section C. Balanced section D. Normal section The answer is the section in which the amount of reinforcement provided is less than what is required is called as an under reinforced section. The ultimate compressive strength of mild steel is a 100 to 150 kN per centimeter square, b 80 to 120 kN per centimeter square, c 120 to 150 kN per centimeter square, d above 150 kN per centimeter square. The answer is the ultimate compressive strength of mild steel is between 80 to 120 kN per centimeter square. The slope deflection method is also known as A. Equilibrium method B. Deformation method C. Stiffness coefficient method D. All of the above. The answer is slope deflection method is also known as all of the above three. Which arch is statically determinate structure? A. Single hinged arch b two hinged arch c three hinged arch d fixed arch the arch which is statically determinate is the three hinged arch for the same sectional area which beam will deflect the least a t beam b rectangular beam c circular beam d i beam the answer is for the same sectional area the beam which will deflect the least is the T-beam. Which of the following is generally not designed for shear? A. Slab 
B. Cantilever beam. C. Footing. D. None of the above. The answer is the slab is not generally designed for shear. In RCC columns, if ties are not provided, the column will likely to A. Fail by crushing. B. Fails by buckling. C. Behave like a beam. D. None of the above. The answer is in RCC columns, if ties are not provided, the column will likely to fails by buckling. A surface tank will be economical if the shape is A. Circular B. Square C. Rectangular D. All of the above. The answer is a surface tank will be economical if the shape is circular. Which of the following is not considered in footing? A. Bending moment B. Shear C. Punching stress D. Torsion The answer is the torsion is not considered in footing. Design consideration for a steel beam is A. Flexural strength B. Stiffness C. Economy D. All of the above. The answer is the design consideration for a steel beam will be all of the above three. On which of the following the support for flat slab is provided? A. Beams built monolithically above walls. B. Columns built monolithically above slab. C. Beams. D. Walls. The answer is the support for flat slab is provided in which the columns built monolithically above slab. In which of the following types of concrete beam section, failure will occur all on a sudden. A. Singly reinforced beam. B. Under reinforced section. C. Balanced section. D. Over reinforced section. The answer is the failure will occur all on a sudden will be in over reinforced section. In which condition a doubly reinforced beam is used? A. When extra safety is needed. B. When depth and breadth to be restricted. C. When large moment is expected. D. When depth is more than 1 meter. The answer is a doubly reinforced beam is used when depth and breadth to be restricted. For what purpose stiffeners are used in plate girders? A. To connect the flange plates to the web. B. To provide web splice. C. To prevent buckling of web. D. To provide splice for flange plates and cover plates. The answer is the stiffeners are used in plate girders to prevent buckling of the web. Which among the following is also known as rolled steel joist? A. Rolled steel T section. B. Rolled steel channel section. C. Rolled steel I section. D. Rolled steel angle section. The answer is a rolled steel I section is also known as rolled steel joist. For no tension developed in a gravity dam, where is the resultant of all forces on a dam should always lie? A. At toe. B. Near heel. C. At top. D. Within middle third of the section. The answer is for no tension developed in a gravity dam, the resultant of all forces on dam should always lie within the middle third of the section. What is the polar moment of inertia of a circle of diameter D? A. Pi d raised to 4 by 64. B. Pi d raised to 4 by 32. C. Pi d raised to 4 by 128. D. Pi d raised to 4 by 16. The answer is the polar moment of inertia of a circle of diameter D is pi d raised to 4 by 32. For a cantilever beam of length L, what bending moment at free end would produce a deflection equal to that produced by a concentrated load W at the free end? A. W L B. 2 by 3rd of W L. C. 2 by 3rd of W. D. W L by E I. The answer is for a cantilever beam of length L, the bending moment at the free end would produce a deflection equal to that produced by a concentrated load W at the free end is 2 by 3 W L. What is the elongation of a prismatic bar of length L, cross section area A, hanging vertically under its own weight W? A. W L by A. B. W L by 3 A. C. W L by 2 A. 
dwl by 4a the answer is the elongation of a prismatic bar of length l cross sectional area a hanging vertically under its own weight w is wl by 2a where is tension steel is provided in two way slab a only at top b only at bottom c at top and bottom d at corners the answer is the tension steel is provided in two way slab at top and bottom for a redundant frame if number of members is m and number of joints is j then which of the relation is satisfied a m greater than 2j minus 3 b m less than 2j minus 3 c m less than 2 into j minus 3 d m greater than 2 into j minus 3 the answer is for a redundant frame if number of members is m and number of joint is j then m is greater than 2j minus 3 the minimum number of longitudinal bars in a circular column is a 4 b 5 c 6 d 8 The answer is the minimum number of longitudinal bars in a circular column is six. For a two-way slab, long span short span ratio should be a equal to two, b less than or equal to two, c not equal to two, d greater than or equal to two. The answer is for a two-way slab, long span short span ratio should be less than or equal to two. The maximum horizontal distance between tension bars in case of beams for mild steel is a not greater than 180 mm b not greater than 300 mm c not greater than 150 mm d not greater than 200 mm the answer is the maximum horizontal distance between tension bars in case of beams for mild steel should not be greater than 300 mm